First, let you show your mama a surprise. And even the babies. All right, what's your mama surprise? Little live pets. Guinea pig mama surprise. And, and here's all the babies. Now let me tell them what, what their name is. This one is Lemon. And this one is Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. And this and, and the other one is Candy. Candy. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. I don't know what... And we're all getting ready to go to bed, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I got them a little bed. You got them a little bed? That's like a, um, a little people bed, but you were crafty, and, and you're going to use it for baby guinea pigs. Yeah, that because they fit right in it. They really do. They fit very nicely in it. Yeah, and even I got them a whole little blanket for us. You're ourselves. such a good... And even Mommy. I was gone, put it in the in there, but 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 I said I'm sorry, and I able put it in there. Now let me sh show everyone that 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 she talks. She talks. Yeah. Oh, she is sleepy. Yeah, me too. Let's get started on our bedtime story. Yeah, she All is right. sleepy. So, we read... What did we read last night, baby? Do you remember? Um... We're playing... Mm, Sleeping Beauty, remember? Oh, yeah. So, tonight is Peter and the Wolf. Tonight is Peter and the Wolf? Right here. Page 132. Pete? Peter and the Wolf. Alright. I don't think we've ever read this in any of our books. Peter lived with his grandfather in a little cottage in the valley. Grandfather taught him to be kind to the animals. Is this one him? Mm-hmm. And Peter soon became friends with many woodland creatures. Grandfather also taught Peter about the dangers of living in the woods and how he must always be on alert for wolves, which is why Grandfather insisted that the cottage gate was kept closed. Early one morning, Peter woke before Grandfather, and as the sun was starting to rise above the mountains, he set off to play. Peter was so eager that he forgot to close the gate. He ran into the big green meadow, seeing the gate wide open. The duck waddled through the yard and followed Peter. Oh, here? Mm-hmm. That duck's following him. Peter headed for his favorite tree, where his friend, a little bird, was perched. Morning, Peter, the bird chirped happily. Peter climbed onto the lower branch and started chatting. Everywhere was so quiet, there wasn't even a ripple on the pond in the meadow. Yeah, wait, let me show them the up top of the hearts. It really opens. I'm not kidding. And these are wherever the baby comes out, but we force them. Yeah. We're supposed to wait tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. it takes a long time to hatch, to hatch these babies apparently, and we got impatient, and we just kind of forced it. Whoops. Yeah. Then suddenly they heard an excited quack. Oh no! I forgot to close the gate. Cried Peter. Why did you follow me? He asked the excited duck. Grandfather is going to be so cross. Quack quack. Replied the duck. Heading straight for the pond. Uh oh. Now, Duck and the little bird always found something to argue about. As Duck waddled along, the little bird joined him. What kind of bird are you if you can't fly? He chirped. What kind of bird are you if you can't this swim? Guy? Yep. Replied the duck. But before diving into the pond with a big splash... And this guy's talking to him. Mm-hmm. The kitty cat. And the duck swam and the bird hopped alongside the pond. They continu continued to argue. Look Suddenly, how cute these babies are. Peter noticed a cat ready to pounce on the Look bird. Look how cute they are. They are just so cute. And, and oh, pfft, they just fell out. Suddenly, Peter noticed the cat ready to pounce on the bird. 
Look out, cried Peter. And in a flash, the little bird was back in the tree again. The cat starred, stared in surprise as the duck flapped his wings the wildly. Has a little teddy bear. Very cute. And on the back, with just this. Mm hmm. And even when it has pillows and blankets already. Then the cat turned his attention to the bird once more and began to circle the tree. He wondered if he could climb up quickly enough to catch and the little creature little before Lennon it flew the, away again. Has the little teddy bear. Oh, very nice. The lemon. It certainly the isn't quiet bear. anymore, smiled Peter as he watched in amusement. But then an angry voice made him jump. Peter! Peter! How could you leave the gate open? cried Grandfather, running across the meadow. What if a wolf had come? Boys like me aren't afraid of wolves, replied Peter. But Grandfather did not want to hear this. He led Peter across the meadow and back to the cottage. As Peter waited behind the gate, he realized that Grandfather did know best. For at that moment, a big gray wolf appeared. Seeing the little duck swimming on the pond, the wolf bared his teeth and licked his lips. Oh, this little guy? Yeah. The duck jumped out of the pond in fright at the sight of the wolf, and in no time, the wolf was chasing the little duck across the field. No matter how hard she ran, she couldn't escape from the wolf. Nearer and nearer came the wolf until, snap, the duck disappeared. Well, these three are giving, these three are losing blankets. This yeah. one was losing blanket. Quick as a flash, the cat climbed the tree. Soon the wolf began to circle. Hold on, honey. Let me see. Staring up with greedy eyes, the cat stared back. He wasn't afraid, but the wolf was only interested in the little bird. He bared his teeth and snarled. Watching in horror, Peter wasted no time. He grabbed some rope and made a lasso. He knew he couldn't let the wolf see him, so he carefully crawled toward his friends. Then he climbed the little wall beside the tree and called out, Listen carefully, bird. Fly just above the wolf's head, but take care he doesn't catch you. Let me show them their stuff. The little bird did Let as he was told. Their stuff. Not, let me first open this bag. These are all their stuff. Okay. Very cute. The little bird did as he was told. As the wolf snapped, the bird swooped up and down just out of reach. While the clever bird distracted the wolf, Peter leapt onto the tree. He tried, he tied the end of the rope to a branch and dropped the lasso over the wolf's tail. The more the wolf jumped, the more the rope tightened around his tail. And the more angry he became. Just then, some hunters appeared. Following the trail of the wolf, We've caught the wolf, cried Peter. Help us take him to the zoo. The hunters oh, were happy to help. Wolf? At the head of the group was Peter. No, that's the cat. That's the wolf. Uh. The hunters were happy to help. At the head of the group was Peter. Oh, so this one is Followed the by the hunters leading the wolf. Grandfather trailed along the back, still cross with Peter for, di for disobeying him. If Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then, grumbled Grandfather. He was not happy that Peter took such a risk. But Peter and I were too clever for the wolf. The little bird, or Peter and I were too clever clever for the, for the wolf, the little bird told Grandfather. Let me show now, her eyes. You want to show her eyes? Very cute. Now, if you listened very carefully as the group passed by... You would just hear a faint quack. The wolf was in such a hurry when he ate the duck that he swallowed the bird whole. And the brave creature was still alive. Uh, so this guy grabbed him. The brave creature. 
So this one is the wolf, and this one, and this one. Is so the, the wolf. so the duck was still alive in the wolf's belly. Interesting. I don't know. So the next story is Aladdin. Was Aladdin? For the next time. Did you like Peter and the Wolf? Yes. Are you ready for bed now? Let me see. You and Mama guinea pig? Yeah. Alright. I love Mama you. Mama is already sleepy. She's already sleepy? I love you. I love you too. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. And also the babies are all sleepy. And the babies. The babies are all sleepy. And the mama too. Look how cute her eyes are. Her eyes are so cute. And even she has little blonde and white. Yep. So cute. Just like you. And the babies. Yeah, this one is lemon. This one's candy. This one. Oh, wait a minute. This one's candy. This one's rock and roll. This one's lemon. This one's candy. Very good. I all named them. But I, well, I let's all try and name this one lemon. So, so I picked lemon. You picked it because of Alyssa. Mhm. Mm okay. Good night. Good night.